Do you know what a slave is? Hi kids, it's Auntie Myla. The story is Slave Boy. And our verse is John 8, 34. It says, I tell you the truth, everyone who sins is a slave of sin. John and Jack were brothers. And most of the time they were good friends. <clears throat> they loved playing together. They lived uh, sort of in the country, outside of town a little ways. And they had a big, um, to the story, white house that they lived in. They had a big backyard, a nice front yard. And one summer afternoon, John and Jack were playing in the backyard. They had a big sand pile. They had their trucks. They were going here and going there. And John picked up some gravel and threw it at their kitten that was walking by. They had a little kitten. And Jack said, John, that is so mean. That was mean. That was not nice. And John just laughed and picked up some more gravel. He threw it at the kitten some more. And the kitten kind of like this. Jack said, okay, I'm going to go tell mom. And he got up. John said, no, no, please don't go tell mom. He says, yes, I'm going to go tell mom. No, 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 please, please don't tell mom. So Jack said, hmm, he was the older one. He said, okay, I'll make a deal with you. And he went over and had a nice big uh, red wagon. And he got in the wagon. He says, you pull me. And John thought, well, <clears throat> I guess I have to because I don't want him to tell mom. So I'll pull him. So he started pulling and pulling and pulling. He pulled him around all around the backyard. And then he says, go around the front yard. So he went around the front, down the driveway, around the sidewalk, back down and around. And he pulled and pulled and pulled. And this was a summer afternoon. And Johnny was getting hot. He said, oh, I'm so hot. He says, I don't care. He says, I'm tired. I don't want to pull you anymore. Okay, I'm going to go tell mom. Oh, no, don't tell mom. Okay, I'll pull you. So he started pulling him and he would stop. And Jack was sitting in the wagon, enjoying the ride with his hands full. Just enjoying the ride. And then John said, I don't want to pull you anymore. He says, pull me. I'm going to tell mom. Oh, he didn't know that he had thrown gravel at the kitten. That was not nice at all to do. That was mean. And so John had to pull him out to the front yard, around and around. He pulled him for a long time. An hour went by and another hour. And he, he was getting so tired. Well, Jack got off the wagon. Once he said, stop, got off, he said, Okay, now wait right here, because I want to go <clears throat> down over here. I see my friend is coming. I want to go talk to him. Wait right here. I'll be right back. And so he sat down. John got to thinking. He thought, I need to go tell Mom. And he snuck into the house, and he ran upstairs to Mom's sewing room. Mom was in sort of like a sun porch, and she was sitting there sewing. And he walked in. He says, Mom... She says, well, hi, Johnny. She says, I'm sorry. She says, you're sorry? Yes. I threw gravel at the kitten, and I'm really sorry. And she took him in her arms and gave him a big hug. And she says, I know, dear. I saw that. She, he said, you saw me do it? She says, yes, I saw you do it. Yes, I saw you do it. And he said, I'm so sorry. She says, oh, I forgive you. And he, she said, you've been pulling Jack for a long time, haven't you? He says, she says, yes, I'm tired of it. And she says, well, I forgive you. And she gave him a big kiss and wiped the sweat from his head. He said, thank you. And you know what? He felt so good. He felt like a load had been lifted. Then he ran back downstairs and ran and sat by the wagon. And Jack came back from talking with his friend. 
He said, okay. He got in the wagon. He sat down. He says, now pull me. And John said, no, I'm not going to. Well, I'm going to tell mom. He said, I don't care. You don't care? Okay, I'm going to go tell mom. John said, I don't care because I already told mom. And Jack said, oh. And that's how it is with us. We are a slave to sin if we just have sin and keep it in our lives. But if we ask Jesus to forgive us, he forgives us. And then we don't have that burden, that, that hard feeling and that sad feeling. We can talk straight to Jesus. Yes, that's just like John. He went and confessed to his mom. And we need to confess to Jesus, don't we? I want to pray. Dearest Jesus, please, Lord, we don't want to be a slave to sin. Forgive us of our sins, Lord. We don't want to sin. Please forgive us. Make our hearts pure and clean so that we can talk to you. We love you with all of our hearts. For Jesus' sake, amen.